life is over for a little bit. Life started out rough for Cassius Davis. I just really didn't think that he could possibly live. His doting grandparents, Kenny and Donna Poole, wanted to tell his story from the beginning. Two and a half pounds. Cash was born three months early and almost didn't make it, but he pulled through and was so chubby at his NICU reunion, the doctors didn't believe it was him. He eventually grew taller than older cousin Aspen Poole. He was crazy. Anything you asked him to do, he would do it. He was a prankster, caught on camera, scaring his family with a dead mole. But he was secretly scared of haunted houses. What Cash didn't fear was taking a stand for people he cared about. He's got a letter from a teacher when he was in middle school. Ms. Hoffman thanked 11-year-old Cash after he shaved his head to support a classmate with alopecia. Last week, his family says he tried to help a friend who was caught in a love triangle. I don't even think he was expecting a fight, really. Authorities say Cash planned to meet 16-year-old Marcus Saladin for a fist fight. It's not a random crime. Cash and two friends drove to meet him in Greenwood. Marcus Saladin is accused of shooting into their vehicle, killing Cash and injuring a 19-year-old. He's charged with murder and aggravated battery. You think it's a nightmare. You think you're going to wake up, and you just don't wake up. Kenny hopes tragedy can be a wake-up call for other teens. Say, hey, I want to enjoy life. To ease the pain of saying goodbye, Kenny and Donna keep replaying their grandson's voice. He never left their home without a proper farewell. Bye,